so dark in here. Hi there, Rumi. I'm Bonnie Bobby Cannon. Don't worry, I got all this stuff. I wasn't worried. Sure is all of six flights of stairs, huh? I've heard about the famous NYC walk up, so man, I'm winded. It's good for exercise, though, huh? Oh, oh, okay. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, God, there's more. Okay. So, what are we watching? Okay, um, well, I guess I'm gonna start unpacking. So just let me know if you want to grab a bite later and I'm sure you know all the hot spots in our neighborhood. Okay. Have a good day. Good start, Bon. Magna Cum Law from the University of Georgia. Impressive. Oh, thank you. Why New York City? I'm sorry? I mean, why did you come to New York instead of staying in the South? Oh, well, I'm from a small town in South Georgia, and then I went to school in Georgia. So, other than a trip to Louisiana in middle school and a few road trips for football games, go dogs. <laughs> uh, I haven't really left Georgia all that much, so it was time for a change, and there's just so much opportunity here. I see. Seems like a good reason. I sure think so. Well, this job requires a lot of phone talking. Interacting with people, making sure appointments are kept on time, making people happy. That's perfect. I love people, so none of that should be a problem. Great. Can you start today? Like right now? Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I was going to go see some sites today, but I can definitely start right now. Thank you. Well, Jeff will help you set up at the front. If you have any question, ask him, not me. Okay. Thank you so, so much. You will not regret hiring me. Good to know. Jeff. Can you see me, please? Thank you. Hey. Hi. Wow, you're certainly colorful. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I like some color. Brides of the day. All right. Let's go. Thank you. All right. This is your desk. Uh, type up a list of responsibilities and everything you need to know. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask me. But try to figure it out first before doing that. Got it. Good luck. Uh, thank you. Hey, man, who's Miss Southern living? I gave her a week. Nah, I give her a little longer than that. She's got spunk. A little too Southern hospitality, but spunk nonetheless. Nah, she's going to be on a midnight train back to Georgia by month's end. Want to bet? 50. Done. Fired for that, calling me ma'am. The audacity. Where are you from? Georgia. Of course, you're from the south with your rude manners. Oh, well, down there we just call them manners, so. Oh, do you? Well, let me tell you something. We're in New York, we're not down south, and we do not. Nathan! Madeline. Madeline, Madeline. Madeline. How are you? my dear. Good to see Good you. Good to see you as well. 
I see that you've hired a Southern Belle. Uh, is he giving you trouble? No, just making me feel old. Madeline. Is it ma'am? Really, Southern Lemon? Did you grow up not getting a slice of apple pie because you forgot to say yes, ma'am, to Miss Johnson at church on Sunday? No, no. All right, then. It was beaten into me. It's going to take a while to beat it out of me. Yes, ma'am, I got it. Don't you patronize me, sir. <laughs> oh, you're starting to grow on me, Bonnie Bell Buchanan. <laughs> you know, we might make a proper New Yorker out of you yet. Don't hold your breath. <gasps> Go. Get out of here. Things are good. Everybody at work still has a stick stuck up their ass. My roommate's an urban slob who's dead set on this apartment smelling like a garbage can. A woman yelled at me the other day for calling her ma'am. Oh my God. What? When people make their own voodoo dolls, do they typically pin a picture of the person they're trying to hurt to the doll? I think I just need some sleep and a new roommate. Mama, excuse, are you suggesting I sleep with my boss? All right, Mama, well, I'll call you tomorrow. I love and miss you, bye. There's like zero punctuation. I have read the Bible several times. It went to Sunday school every single Sunday, but nowhere in there did they describe hell as being Monday morning on the New York City subway. <laughs> yeah, it is. But in the Clip Notes version, they do. Well, at least I know where to find the devil. What happened? Rude humans and delays happened. If I wanted it to take me an hour and a half to get to work, I would go sit in Atlanta traffic in the comfort of a car, not smashed up against sweaty, smelly, hateful strangers. You know, I think it's decided. Monday, Bonnie, is my favorite. I have work to do, and so do you, Playboy. I told you this one has funk. Yeah, all right. Peace and blessings, you two. Chipper, good morning from Little Miss Sunshine. Sorry. I wasted all my charm on that barista bitch who I see every day and who still refuses to smile or bless anyone with a good morning. Back home, my barista greets me every day with a smile and we catch up on the neighborhood gossip. I've met her whole family. I went to her sister's wedding. She came to my going away party before I moved here. Is that too much to ask of somebody? Way too much. Yeah, we're not in fucking Mayberry, Bon. I'm not asking her to feed my cat while I'm away, but it's a shred of politeness out of the question. Hey, no one here is polite, self-living. The sooner you realize that, the better off you're gonna be. I'm gonna break her down. She'll appreciate me one day. Your optimism is very nauseating. And your pessimism is off-putting. Well, I used to be like you, happy, Optimistic, charming. Okay, no fucking way you were ever like this. <laughs> no offense to both of you. I wasn't that bad. I was nicer. What happened? Jesus, the city, Jeff. Cost. Keep your head up, Mayberry. I'm actually starting to appreciate your hospitality. Yeah, you know what? I'm starting to appreciate your hospitality, too. Morning. Morning. 
Okay, so they make these things called umbrellas, and what they do, now stay with me, they, they keep you relatively dry, er, and they prevent you from looking like a wet dog. Thank you for that. But, uh, you know, I miss my kind of thunderstorm. Come again? Front porch sitting with a glass of sweet tea and mama's blueberry pie while the rain comes pouring down. If I have to go anywhere, then I can get in a car and go. Not swim five blocks to the subway only to get drenched by other people's umbrellas while on said public transportation and then have to wade through seven more blocks of flooding to get here. Did you eat anything but pie growing up? What, pie? That's what you got from that? Well, um, your hair still looks really, really nice. Kiss my ass, Jason. I had a feeling she would be good. Yes, Madeline. Mm-hmm. Yes, the boxes are on their way. Well, seeing as how you asked for them about an hour ago and the messenger just came to pick them up about five minutes ago, I would say they'll be there within the hour. Mm-hmm. Always a pleasure. Is that the Madeline? Yes. Isn't she lovely? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm kidding. She's the worst of each side woman and the reason of my drinking problem. I swear to God. It's all back now. <laughs> what do you think of her? She's a gym. Come on, that's been something different in Southern language. I know, give it more. All right, well, if you must know, my sweet grandma, who I'm pretty sure has come to fisticuffs with the devil himself and beat his ass further into hell, is a difficult woman, to say the least, and I would rather deal with her on her worst day than Madeline on her best. Uh, see, if I didn't know you better, I would just say, just give it a compliment. How do you guys manage to insult someone, including your grandma, and make it sound like flattery? Southern shade is an art form. Bonnie, you are interesting. Well, she's gonna call you back less than a minute. Good luck. Hi, Madeline. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's like every day. Good morning, y'all. It's a beautiful day out there today, isn't it? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were the same body from day one. Ew, you're like weirdly chipper again. What happened? I was starting to like you then. No, I'm the same body as always. No, 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 something is different. It's like the old body, but with like more pep. Oh my God, what did we do to deserve this? Go to hell, Jason. Come on, Southern Living. What's the news? Seriously, y'all, there's nothing different, okay? I may or may not have a date tonight, but that is no There it is, okay? The bright pink lipstick should have been a dead giveaway. You don't have a boyfriend? Oh, I basically thought that you're like one of those married types. I did not go to college to get my MRS degree. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, what? MRS. As in Mrs. That's like the best and worst thing I've ever heard. Bonnie Bell, you might be too country for your own good. Probably, but I met him at my coffee shop and I was pretty sure I would never meet anybody in this city. And he seemed real nice, so we'll see. Don't get your hopes up, honey. Olivia, is it your mission in life to just shit all over everything all the time? That's a fair question. I wanna hear this answer. I'm just saying, okay, you know, dating here is not like anywhere else. Maybe you're just too pessimistic. Maybe. Either way, I'm sure you'll fall in love. Love? Who said anything about love? I'm just happy about a free meal. Oh my God, I stand corrected. Savage Date Bonnie is my new favorite. Are we still talking about that date? Yeah. I told you not to get your hopes up. Didn't get my hopes up. I didn't even like the guy. So what's the problem? I am not the girl that you kiss on the street, say you're gonna call soon, and never talk to again. 
but you didn't want to hear from him again. Not, Not the, the point. point. So what's the point? The point is, is that this place is apparently a hellscape of fuckboys and completely barren of any sort of southern gentleman, rendering my dating life obsolete. You are catching on. That was a mouthful. I got fuckboys and southern gentlemen. Shocking. Y'all all suck. Y'all all? Y'all all? Y'all all, all, all? That just doesn't make any sense. Bless my heart. Bye, Bonnie. About. I think I just saw a mouse run across the floor. So? So? A mouse? A as in a rodent? As in, if we don't kill it, we're gonna have a serious mouse problem. Uh, no, you're not killing it. What? If he was small with a longer tail, that's Travis. Travis? You named a mouse? He comes around every now and then, and he's harmless. He's a rodent. He has rodent friends, and he will bring his rodent friends back here, and they will feast, and we will have a serious mouse situation. We have to kill him to send a message to the others. Uh, no, we don't. I'm a vegetarian. What the actual fuck does that have to do with killing a rodent? People don't eat rodents. Fine. I'll put some cheese out and then I'll put him back in his cage. I, I'm, I'm sorry, his cage? He stays in a cage in my room until he gets out. If I see that little rodent motherfucker again, I'm killing it. You first. Travis! Well, you know what they say, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. I don't feel like I'm making it though. Well, you made it past the three month mark. I have had cereal for dinner every night for the past two weeks. That is hardly making it. That's a bit concerning. I know, I, I'm used to casseroles and, and green beans and corn on the cob and rolls. And this is called surviving. I guess you're right. You know, I still, go the wrong way at least three times a week when I get off the subway. Still. Darling, you've always been directionally challenged. Plus, you're used to the make left at the Piggly Wiggly, then the right on the next road to the cow pasture type of navigation. You're right. Although the other day, I got so excited because this woman asked me for directions. Me! And to me that meant I look like a New Yorker and I look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but then five minutes later, after I myself had walked five blocks in the wrong direction, I realized I told her the complete wrong way to go. She probably ended up in Brooklyn for all I know. Well, let's hope she figured it out before then. <laughs> I hope so. You know what else I realized? This place is basically just a cesspool of assholes. And I've only been here for four months. But in those four months, I have met more people that I don't like than I have in my entire life. And I don't even know these people. Case in point. I can appreciate weird. That's just a whole nother level. And yeah, you know, I keep thinking she's gonna warm up to me. I just no longer see that happening. Well, people just don't appreciate Southern hospitality around here. They don't, but they should, damn it, because I am trying to appreciate their lack of warmth. Well, cheers to making it. Something like that. Hey, Bonnie. Oh no, who died? My soul. Come again? My soul. This city has finally taken my soul. You win. Wow, I'm so torn between happiness and disappointment, I don't even know what to say. Say nothing. I think I miss Bubbly Bonnie. Wow, 
I never thought I'd hear you say that. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Hold up. <laughs> we look like we came from two different outsides. I've heard about these winters and I just don't think I'm prepared. On the contrary, you might be overprepared. And this is not winter, this is basically fall. Hells, bells, I'm wearing all my warmest stuff. I'm gonna have to get more gear. Slow down, Jack Frost. I'm gonna freeze going to work one morning. I just know it. That's a bit dramatic. Well, thank God for snow days, am I right? <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, we don't do snow days here. Why in God's name are we here? Subways are running. So? I felt three times trying to get to the damn subway. Okay, correction, frazzled, freezing, cussing Bonnie is my favorite. Where I come from, if there's a lone snowflake in the forecast, everything shuts down and we prepare for the apocalypse. Here, there's an actual life-threatening blizzard going on out there, and we're acting like it's a summer day. Welcome to New York. It's been waiting for you. That song was not written in the dead of winter. I can assure you of that. Okay, just think about it like this. One snow down, like 15 more to go. <sighs> Kill me now. <laughs> See you, bye. Hey, Mama, it's me. Uh, it's Wednesday, so you're probably on your way to church right now. But I just wanted to call and say hey. Hear a familiar, happy voice. <laughs> uh, things are good here. Tough and cold. People are so difficult. I miss y'all a lot. But I'm good. Sometimes I do wonder if I'm gonna be able to survive living here. I know it's only been a handful of months since I moved up here, but boy, really is a city that never sleeps. Really makes you wonder what you're doing with your life. <laughs> of course, when you spend most of your free time alone because your roommate's a crazy bitch. Sorry for the language. But you have a lot of time to think about these things and you made the right decision moving up here if you're ever not gonna be a receptionist having to deal with rude grown-ups all the time. I, I thought I was an adult when I moved up here, but turns out, maybe not. <laughs> but that all probably sounds really dramatic on your end, but I swear I'm fine. Uh, oh, and uh, thank you for sending my recipe book. Maybe I'll make one one of these days soon and make this place feel a little more homey. Uh, all right, well, I'll talk to you soon. Tell everybody I said hi. Love you, Mama. It's scary when you breathe it all in, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's still scary, though. Why are they calling me? You also get to stop and take it all in sometimes. It can be overwhelming. But the moment you let the magic fade into the background is the moment you let doubt win. The city is actually on your side, believe it or not. Thank you. I believe it. Good luck.
Honey Bell has so much to tell you. I can't wait. But first you got a call, and then I'm all yours. Oh, shit. Uh, when is that? Right now. Go. Please tell me those are homemade pies in the break room, Seth or Levin. They sure are. Apple and blueberry. Go crazy, Playboy. What the hell smells so good in the fridge? Oh, those would be pies. That would actually be the casserole I made for the office. You made a casserole? Yeah. Well, I made a couple, so I figured I might as well bring one in so y'all could have a proper meal instead of that street meat you're filling your insides with. I give in. I was wrong. I had you on a midnight train leaving here six months ago, and you are. Yeah, well, it's gonna take a lot more than Madeline Bridges, The Winter, a mouse housing roommate, ungentlemanly fuckboys, and a barista who still won't smile at me to get me on that train. Correction, okay? Uh, badass Susie Homemaker Bonnie is my forever favorite. <laughs> Y'all didn't really think you are getting rid of me that quickly, did you? Yeah. Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> Bless your hearts. You have never seen a Southern girl learn to survive in the big city. Left at the Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Okay. Used to the make a left at the Piggly Wiggly, then the next right to the cow pasture on the right. Type of navigation. <laughs> oh, okay. well, a little less than. <laughs> there we go. That's where it's natural. Jesus! I'm ready. There it is. That's way better. Wow. It seems like you hit it in this bowl. <laughs> 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 